What's going on guys? We are out here with another video today. It is a beautiful May day out here. Much less wind than we had this opening weekend. And today we're gonna to be showcasing one of the absolutely killer spring baits I've been fishing this year and it's unbelievably versatile. And that is the new Kalen's Tickle Tail Swim Bait. I've pretty much had this thing out everywhere I've been. Catches a ton of fish. What's the consensus? It's honestly one of our favorite ways to fish. I mean, not even just this time of year, but all through the summer. Yeah, with even with not even talking about the bait, pop jigging, which is what we're going to be doing today with plastic, is one of the absolute most fun ways to fish, and in the spring catches absolutely everything. So we're going to talk about this bait a lot, what makes it so good, and uh, hopefully catch a whole variety of species today. So stay tuned. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Pop jigging is an absolute blast, and uh, let's catch some fish. Fish on, on the swim bait. We got a nice little smallmouth here. I believe it is. It is. A nice smally on a tickle tail. Everything eats a swim bait. And in the spring when they're all in the same spot, absolutely awesome way to fish. Go ahead and grab this guy. Look at that thing. The size is great up here shallow this time of year. Here buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Got Absolutely munched that tickle tail. Super cool way to fish. Just popping a swim bait around up in the rocks and sand this time here. Just a chunk or small out there. We'll take it. Absolutely crushed it. We'll let that one go. Got a big brown bass on, but it is staying down. We'll see. Oh, dude, dude. big walleye! <laughs> big walleye on the tickle tail. Too cool. The way that thing ran around, I kind of figured it was not a walleye. But look at that thing! Just hammered on that little Kalen's tickle tail. Too cool. We're actually working some sand flats and the fish are kind of neutral, so kind of popping that bait, getting a little bit of an aggression bite, and uh, that one definitely liked it. We'll give you guys a look. That is a quality, quality fish. And I got him good. Look at that. That is exactly what we're after right there. Big spring walleyes here up in the Northwoods on the tickle tail, and you can see these hooks when you get them. They absolutely do not come off on that little Google Eye swim bait head. Just fishing that little quarter ounce and that one absolutely did the job. We'll take it. Northwoods walleye. See you later, dude. All right, guys, so how are we working this swim bait combo this time of year? Well, this is the Kalen's Tickle Tail, like we've said. Um, it's got a whole bunch of appendages down it, just a great swim bait body overall. And like I said, this is that uh, that Kalen's Google Eye swim bait head. It has a great wire keeper on it and a super solid hook. And this is a quarter ounce, which is kind of the size I like when I'm fishing a lot of like this five to like 12 feet of water. And I'm getting the bait out there and I'm going all the way down to the bottom. And uh, once you're on bottom, which you know doesn't take too long because we're not fishing too deep, Basically what I like to do, I'm taking the rod and I'm just popping it like that. I'm not picking that bait up super far, but I'm just picking it up enough and then I'm keeping my rod tip tight. What you're not going to see me do is pop my rod and drop the tip. So then I'm not going to be able to feel anything that's going on. Popping it about a foot maybe and then letting it fall. And a lot of times what you're going to feel is that fish go boom real hard on the way down. But you might sometimes pop it up and they'll pick it right up off the bottom. So it's kind of a combination of the two. You know in the summer we might do a lot of like fishing like real hard rip jigging like that. But this time of year, these fish are a little bit more lethargic and uh, they don't like a bait that's shooting way up off the bottom. And a lot of times if you've got a real sunny high skies day and these fish aren't really biting, this quick little pop gets a lot more bites than something that just like this. But you can kind of vary that cadence quite a bit. Some days you'll just be this more kind of slow pull. Other days you're kind of doing this pop. And that's kind of the one-two punch. Today seems like it's kind of a little bit more about this little pop. And sometimes you can take it and kind of double hit it let it fall back down. But every single time you want that swim bait to be hitting the bottom. 
that is the whole key to this. You want to be fishing basically within a foot of the bottom the whole time, popping that rod and letting it hit bottom. Popping that rod, letting it hit bottom every time. And this is definitely a scenario where braid is going to be much better than uh, fishing like a mono or something like that. We tie in a fluorocarbon lead with a double uni knot. Um, 10 pound braid, 10 or 12 pound lead is going to do you fine. And uh, high speed jig and reel, super light, like the Pissy Fun Carbon X will get the job done. And today we're fishing the Elliott Rod 6.9 medium fast, which is kind of the perfect all around multi-purpose tool for a lot of this rip jigging type stuff. So that's kind of the deal. That's what's catching the fish and we're gonna stick with it. On the swim bait. I actually launched this one just way up shallow. Started popping it pretty good, and I think he's kind of got it like in the corner of the mouth. He's definitely a pretty decent fish, I believe. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. Nice one. Too much fun in the spring, and these fish kind of school up in the same spot. That is a toad smaller right there. Go ahead and grab him. That is one of the coolest parts about spring and popping plastics is that you just never know. What it might be, this one's kind of got it right under his jaw here, but there you go. Beautiful little chunk or small here right there. Too much fun, spring's a great time to be doing this. If you guys don't have a lot of faith in artificials, get out here this time of year, pop over some of these shallow flats and you're gonna catch a whole bunch of awesome fish like that. We'll let them go. See you later, dude. Oh, fish on. Smoking them now. We're way up here on this sand flat and it's warm water up here. These fish are loaded. It's all about seven, eight feet. Oh, what do we got here? Look at that. Musky. It's a three species deal. We got a little musky on. Pretty cool. Look at that little guy. Good to see, I guess. Swim bait catches a little bit of everything. This thing is versatile. It is. Swim baits are one of those baits that pretty much work on every body of water. For every kind of fish there is. I'm lucky I didn't lose my jig on that one. Look at that. A little musky on the swim bait. I'll take it. Look at your little dude. John hooked up right away. That'd be a nice walleye, huh? I think it might be the correct kind that we're going for, Tom. That's a nice, nice walleye. I think it is. It definitely is. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Nice fish. That is what we are after. In this one spot, we've caught big walleyes, big smallmouth, and uh, a musky now. All on the same bait. And that is a nice, And nice that's walleye. another toad, dude. Man. Popping swim baits, midday. Toad walleyes up here up shallow. All right guys, take a look. That's what we're after out here. Super, super versatile bait. Too cool. Yeah, um, like Tom said, two big stud walleyes, some big smallies, little musky. Everything on that That'll thing. get the job done. All right, Tom, get that live wool ready. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so what's the setup for doing this? You know, this is the Kalen's Pickle Tail. It's actually a new bait for this year. I got to play around with it a little bit last year, and it's been great for us. It's got all these little appendages off the side, which almost give it a lot of movement while the bait's not moving that much. And uh, the other thing it does is when you pop that thing, it almost makes it like airplane off to the side because these kind of catch water. So it's a very versatile bait overall. Ton of great action. Soft body, yet it stays on the jig. Absolutely amazing. And the jig we're using for this is the Kalen's Google Eye Swim Bait Jig. You can probably hear it's got a little knocker in there, which is nice. It adds a little little bit of sound but the best part about this jig is this awesome hook and it's hard to find good stout walleye hooks um, that fit a lot of the smaller swim baits you know if you when you start getting to these really stiff hooks which are great for hooking fish they keep fish on amazingly well um, a lot of times the hooks just get way too big of a size and this one's about perfect so this is the 3.8 inch tickle tail and uh, one thing I like to do we'll kind of thread it on here these baits are pretty much indestructible I mean you can fish for like days on end a lot of times with the same swim bait 
but I'll kind of thread it on there about like that. And if it's kind of uneven, I'll just take and tear some of that plastic like that. It stays on incredibly well. But one little tip I like to use if I'm fishing smaller heads, like eighth ounce or quarter ounce, what I'll do is I'll just take these appendages off the back end and it kind of makes the swim bait roll a little bit better. The tail still has great action, but when you're fishing these lighter heads, you almost get more roll out of it without a few of those appendages on the back end. So that's kind of how I like to fish it there. Just one little quick tweak you can do that gives it a little bit more action. When you go up to like a 3 8 or a half ounce like we will a lot in the summer, it doesn't matter because the weight of that head has so much speed, more speed falling, this bait's gonna roll and kick all over the place. So super versatile bait. If I could only have a couple of colors, this would be one of them. I think this one's called Shiner. There's another one that's got like a blue back, white belly. But it's a lot of these natural colors is, is basically what I do very well on pretty much no matter where I go. That's the setup right there. That's how we're fishing them. It's catching a pile of fish for us this spring. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. The, the brown kind and the old Kalen's tickle tail. You think? That's very right. Bring it down. Really nice smallie. Nice little chunker. Oh, come here, guy. Yeah, look at that. Oh, football. Shut up. I like foosball. Guess what guys, we got them. We did, we, we were only out here for about an hour, fished a couple of spots, found a whole bunch of fish middle of the day and they're eating that swim bait like crazy. But um, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this video is beneficial for you guys. If you want to check out any of the products listed in this video, um, there'll be a whole link in the description down below. So um, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing next, but uh, if you're not yet, please subscribe and stay tuned for a ton more walleye content because we're just getting started with the season here in Northern Wisconsin. And uh, hopefully you guys are having good luck out there as well.